Welcome back to week six in our museum sketchbook series. This week, we will explore the different ways you can use lines to create and enhance your artwork. There's a famous quote by artist Paul Klee that says, a line is a dot that went for a walk. We'll find out today what that means for your sketch, but first we'll learn a little bit about Jean Dubuffet, an artist whose artwork in the Palmer is an excellent example of the creative uses of line. Let's get started. Jean de Buffet was a French painter whose use of line is one of the defining factors in his pieces. His works are often described as cramped and crowded, sometimes even childlike, because of the ways he uses different shapes, colors, layers, and lines to play off of each other. De Buffet's style is very unique and follows a more authentic approach to art making. He paints from life but adds an abstract twist of skewed beauty, which gives his art a more down-to-earth feel. The drawing in the Palmer's collection titled Figure is one of his abstract pieces. The absence of color provides more emphasis on the line work in his piece, which explores space, thickness, shapes, shading, curves, and everything else that a line is capable of. This piece is the inspiration that we draw this week's sketch prompt from. So this week's prompt is to create a drawing that explores line in a new way. Now, this may sound strange since technically you use lines to draw everything, so think of it more as mark making. Draw a doodle in your sketchbook that uses a ton of different shapes. They can be whatever you want. Fill them in or surround them with different variations of line. Overlap them, space them out, create patterns, cross them up, make it totally your own. But while you're drawing, try to be more aware of where you put your pencil on your paper, how hard you press, how long you drag it on the paper for, and what it looks like when you pick it up. Look at what happens to your paper after you make those marks. You can follow Dubuffet's style if you want and take inspiration from his shapes and designs, see what lines add to his work, and find out what lines can do for your work too. Hi, it's Hannah, and this is me starting my sketch. I began drawing just some random shapes that didn't really have any rhyme or reason to them. I just wanted to fill the page. The funny thing about lines to me is that they don't have to be straight. They can be curvy too. I just have it in my brain that lines have to be straight. So this sketch is honestly a learning experience for me. I did a quick experiment with line design in the middle, but I decided to finish the first layer of my work first uh, before adding any more. I tried some different thicknesses, different markers, but ended up outlining all of my blob shapes with a marker again to make them more distinct. From there, I started the real line work, but before we look, let's check in with some of the other team members. Hi, this is Jules. So to start off my sketchbook page, I knew that I definitely wanted to use color and I thought it would be easier to start with the color and see what I was inspired to do with lines after I did this. So I used some acrylic paint to just block in some shapes. I really just chose random shapes and tried to fill up the page and thought about where I wanted to use the color in relation to the other colors that I had. I really liked this color scheme that I picked. I thought all the colors worked really well together. I tried to do some lines with the paint and then just some other random shapes and filled them in and I added some circles and some just like I said different lines and colors so after this I'm going to use some paint pens to add some more lines. Hi everyone it's Chelsea. For this prompt I decided to do a really simple little doodle drawing that I could just kind of zone out and relax while I was working on so I just started by making some goofy little shapes that kind of interlock with one another a little bit. Uh, you might have noticed that a lot of my work uses these kind of um, amorphous organic shapes, really inspired by the work of Matisse, his uh, paper cut drawings. So I'd like to use a lot of the same sort of shapes that he uses. 
But here I'm just adding some different colors, figuring it out as I go, just intuitively picking what I think will look good together. I decided to go on to the next page a little bit too, just to make a bigger composition, kind of spreads out and it's almost like growing across my sketchbook page. So first I just finish up doing the first level of marker, um, just doing some fun different colors. And then I went in with my paint markers and started to line the edges. So I just picked some fun contracting, contrasting colors uh, that would really pop against the marker I laid down and just outlined all of those shapes just to give them a little bit more of a finished look um, and add that kind of fun contrasting color. So I've just picked out a different one for each of those. And then for a couple of them, I even decided to go back and do a second layer of lining just to make them a little bit more interesting. I did that specifically on the shapes that are a little bit bigger. And here is the finished thing. I hope you guys like it. I wanted to represent a figure through the odd shapes and patterns. And for some reason, I started in the middle by drawing a waistband and expanded outward from there. I really just added one random shape onto another until I thought I should definitely add something that maybe resembled an arm. And then I added legs. And from there, I started seeing certain features such as eyes, eyebrows, and mouth in particular shapes I had already randomly drawn. So I adjusted them or highlighted them with color or pattern to help give them more definition. You can see both my figures are wearing thigh high boots, very dramatic. So who knows, maybe they're pirates or performers. This was interesting and fun, and I would have never done it except for this prompt. And it reminded me of recognizing shapes and clouds. What I did in my sketchbook is I did a very um, loose shape of an elephant. Um, my studio is the Elephant Work Studio, and I love to do pieces with elephants and endangered species. I then um, drew out my elephant, and then I kind of traced over the initial shape with a Sharpie. And then from different points in the drawing, I just made squiggly lines to create new shapes. Then what I did is I went through and I just started adding lines and overlapping those lines to make a checkerboard pattern. I did circles. I did patterns I made up in my head as I sat drawing for you. This week was really fun for me. I really enjoyed the artist and I really enjoyed making this drawing for you. I hope you have a great week as you draw in your Palmer sketchbook series. So for this part, I wanted to really see where I could get creative with my lines and my mark making. I tried to make the inside of every shape or the area outside of it uh, look different. I did as many designs and patterns as I could think of. I made a constellation looking thing at the bottom and I did some cross hatching on a few. And when I was done with making most of my patterns and designs, I went through and filled in all the white space with more line segments and variation. It reminds me kind of of like an optical illusion because there's just so much going on here. But yeah, I think I made a pretty creative use of lines on my sketch. So after I finished painting all of the shapes, I went in with some paint markers and added some lines. I kind of let the painted shapes guide me where I wanted to put the lines. I didn't have a strict plan. I really just wanted to think about movement and line and using as many different types of line as I could. So I added some shapes. I added some circles, some dots, some triangles, and I used squiggly lines, straight lines, all types of different things just as the shapes guided me. I also used different types of paint markers, so some had skinnier tips and some had thicker tips to kind of add more dimension to the whole piece, and I'm really excited about how the way this turned out. I definitely want to do another one because it was really fun.